the Peach Bowl. Now, this is going to be 3 p.m. on ESPN. It's in Atlanta, Georgia. It is at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. These you boys. I know you're so excited about this one. I know you are so excited about this. Oklahoma 12-1, and Lincoln Riley against your Tigers. LSU 13-0, SEC champions. Look, there, there are so many... Di- as far as offenses go, right? Oklahoma number one in yards per play. LSU number two. As far as points per game, Oklahoma number five at 43.2. LSU number three at 47.8. Uh, the difference here is defense. I mean, you look at, at defensive yards per play, Oklahoma is number 42 in the country, giving up 5.28 yards per play. That ain't good when you're going up against Joe Burrow. I, I'll go on and tell you that right now. Clyde the Glide. Wait, 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 does he have a good nickname? No, he doesn't. Uh, Clyde Edwards I've, I've been, man. I've been trying to come up with, you know, something. His initials spell C, C, E. You know, I you know, I don't know, man. Yeah. I, C I low because he's little. You know, I, that's, <laughs> that's C low. I thought about that the other day. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have the balls to say it. That's I pretty guess good. I said one. it now, but, you know. No, that's, that's definitely a pretty good one. Um, Oklahoma, of course, known for offense, known for, in the past, uh, their deadly ability to pass the ball. That ain't what they do this year. Ooh. Now, I will say this. They they are still putting up stats. Oh, yeah. Uh, they are number, let's see, number three in the country in offensive passing yards per attempt, 11.35. LSU is number five at 10.56. Uh, LSU on defense, significantly better across the board. Uh the only offensive stat where Oklahoma holds like a real, real advantage is rushing yards per attempt. But when you look at like the Massey strength of schedule and whatnot, Oklahoma played the number 13 strength of schedule according to Massey, which I think is a little high. Uh, um, yeah, that, that's not real. And then LSU number two. So and now all, all of these are computer generated, like it goes through the whole thing, whatever. Correct. But uh, Oklahoma's biggest issue here is turnovers they average giving up the ball more than a a half a turnover a game 0.54 they give up per game LSU takes the ball away 0.62 per game that is a sizable difference I mean you're talking a a difference of more than one turnover a game if you give LSU more chances with the football when they're already going to be hard to ever get them to punt yeah I mean, you are in a whole mess of trouble. Jalen Hurts, uh, yeah, he's 2-0 and against LSU. I get that. Um, a lot of teams were three, until this year. 3-0 and against LSU. And a lot of teams were until this year. Yes. Uh, he never played an LSU team that could score. That's the biggest issue. No kidding. Uh, I, I will... And so, the defenses that he had on his team when he played us, I have you seen substantially different. Have you seen this rumor about like between six and ten Oklahoma players having to miss this game due to like failed drug tests? Have you seen this rumor go around? Oh God, no. Uh, And I I don't think that I believe it because I feel like that's just kind of that's a little crazy, right? Like it. This is the first I've heard of it. I, I don't think that it's it, – and, and if it does come out, I think it'll be, like, right before the ball game. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if that happens, I mean, this is just – this would be an absolute uh, murder scene, I think. So <laughs> if That's what, what an if, understatement. Wow. What you got this pulled up This was reported here. yesterday, 6, 10 p.m. by – Two four seven sports. So this is not like well, it's. It wasn't reported by. This, well, this is on a message. This is what I'm. I'm reading this from two four seven sports, and it's this is uh, the big spur. Right? Yeah. Okay. That. Yeah. It's from five to ten players out for weed. God Almighty, we gotta stop this. We just have to stop this. We just have to. Well, I, I mean, we'll we'll see. We have to because this is just rumor stuff. I get. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. Well, we have Clemson, to stop. Have Clemson to stop. had three guys You're go right. out for Osterine last year. It could be that. Like this is again just that a is rumor. Right. No, if you you uh, pop for roids, we're having a conversation that's totally different. Yeah. Than an 18, 19, 20 year old smoking some grass. Okay. Yeah. 
Now, again, we just have to stop this shit. Only a rumor. We don't know that that is actually legit. Uh, but if it is, uh, you go on a bank on that LSU minus 13 and a half. Like, that, that's, that's done. Um, as it stands currently, like, I, I was a little terrified, right? Uh, opening line, like, opening total was 76. And that dropped down to 75 and a half. A little bit. The opening line was 11 and a half in favor of LSU. It jumped to 13 and a half. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see. I, the, the analytics say that the total should be 77 points. Okay. Total's right there on it. And it says that the, the analytics spread should be LSU minus 11 and a half. They have been low on LSU all year, all year long. Mm-hmm. They have undersold LSU for whatever reason. They just refuse to think this team can't continue to score 45 to 50 points, which is what they're averaging. So 75 and a half, I think, is a little bit crazy here. And the reason I think it's a little bit crazy is because I have seen Oklahoma be held to, to lesser points. I think LSU's defense is if going LSU to show scored, up in this game. If do you think LSU is going to score forty five or more? What would forty five to so twenty seven be? Not not seventy five. So I'm going under seventy five and a half, and I'm taking LSU minus thirteen and a half. I think forty five to twenty seven. Hey, you're right. Sounds about that's right a, to that's me. That's a. I don't see Oklahoma scoring. A ton here, either. I think this defense is really good. As soon as people started criticizing their defense, they were like, "Oh, we didn't know that beating people by twenty five points wasn't enough." Yeah, oh, we have to beat them by sixty. Oh, I got it. I got it. We'll we'll, we'll just start doing that then. Yeah, we'll 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 do that. We'll just hold them to nothing. How about yeah. that? I think. No, I do roll. think that like it, Oklahoma it's a smoke show. Oklahoma will still be able to score some points. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But will but, they score thirty five? Will they score forty? They scored 38. I don't think so. Man, I don't, I think don't so. either. I, I don't either. I think this is a smoke show. I, I think we're just so much better than everybody else. Burrow, well, made, Burrow made a couple of statements. A couple of statements were made this week during all the award ceremony that they just took every award there was. Okay. Yeah. Statement number one. It's very simple, very clear. If you ain't a tiger, you tiger bait, and that's that's just it's. All these teams are going to get eaten. That's just I don't know any <laughs> other way to say it. The more dangerous thing that should scare the hell out of everybody was this was not a burrow beating his chest thing. He he made it abundantly clear. That's fine if you think you're going to slow me down. That's fine. You want to beat us? You're going to have to kill us all. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. when and, he said that. And when he said that, I thought, hand them the trophy. I, I raised my eyebrows and was like, that's, oh, that's, <laughs> that's a that's little this scary is. to hear a dude that's saying that. You want to beat us, you're going to have to kill us. Kill us all. That's, kill us, not just kill us. You're going to have to kill us all. You could take me down. That's a, that's a guy that's not pumping his chest. That is... Ed Orgeron has pounded one message into this team. One team, one heartbeat. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So, we both like LSU minus 13 and a half. Yeah. I'm going to go with the under 75 and a half. You taking the over? Man, the, the only reason I'm scared to go under is because... I, I don't think it's outside of the realm of possibility that they hang 50. I just don't, man. Even if they hang 50. But you're right. I mean, if they hang 50, that means they've gotten a lot of extra possessions. Yeah. You might be right, because we hung 50 on A&M, and we didn't, we didn't bust 75. No. I think the under is the I think it's a lot of points. And I think this defense is going to be crazy. Yeah, I, Delpit I think, has a lot to prove. I think he's got to hold up to being the best cornerback in football. I think Stingley believes I'm the best cornerback in football, and he wasn't. He wasn't voted as 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 that in in the not just in the All America in the All SEC. Yeah, 
he was left off. I mean, it's it's just insane. So insane. All right. So LSU minus thirteen and a half for both of us, and the we've, we've under. been big wrong before. Oh yeah, and we will be again. But that doesn't mean it is right this time. I don't think so. So I, I'm just saying. I I think I think we might be onto something here. Just saying. 